Hi everyone, in this session we are going to look at the permissions issue that we have in our application. So now if you look at the current application setup, how we have is any user, you know, even though the user has permission or not, is able to update the resource. To demo that, let's try to access the application resource. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with a inquiry user, okay, inquiry role, which does not have, the user does not have any permissions to update the flight resource, okay. In our previous session, we created a user called David King, which does not have any update permissions. So let's try to access it. And I have the authentication token, which I'm going to use in the update flight. So first thing is let's try to get the flight details. And here I get the flight that is flight ID 11, the capacity is 60. So let's try to update this. So if you go back to our update flight, and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to 40. Now if you try to send this, and you can see that the flight resource was successfully updated. Though the, you know, the user wasn't um, having permission to update it, we were able to update the flight resource. So this is an issue. So to fix this, what we have to do is we have to add the security at method level. Okay, for that we have to follow some steps. So let me bring down my server first. And in the application security config, we have to add an annotation called enable global method security. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to enable the security uh, at method level. So whatever annotations we have, we add to our method, that is our resources, is going to be activated by using enable global method security. So here I'm going to enable the JSR250 flag and I'm going to say that's true and I'm going to say pre-post enabled that's true and finally I'm going to say secured enabled true okay so this is done so the next step what I'm going to do is flight controller and here what I'm going to do we have seen the example of update flight right so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pre-authorize annotation so what it is going to do is before executing the update flight it's going to check for the permissions here and the permission that I can give here is as authority Okay, as authority and I would say this as flight update okay so what we have done is we are basically you know spring is going to spring security is going to check for flight update authority on this method okay this resource before it's called, it's called pre-authorized because we do we want to execute this method before executing this method it checks for this authorization okay so let's test this and one more thing you can you can also check at the role level you can also have something called you know uh, as as a role and give the role here like um, whatever uh, we have the role like uh, our, uh, admin role or uh, for example for the delete we can have uh, admin role and if you want a combination of multiple roles, we can use simple, you know, logical conditions that is and, or, and, and, such, and so on here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it for now as authority and test this. Authority, okay. Let's start the server and test this. 
okay the application is up let's go back to our postman and here uh, i'm already logged in as the read only user so i'll go back to my update fly resource here and if i try to send the request which has you know i'm going to update this back to 60. let's try to uh, let's see what happens when we try to send the request and now you can see that we get a 500 error which is access is denied so basically what is happening is this is something that uh, um, though the user is authenticated okay but does not have enough permission to update the resource so this way we can update all our methods with the authorization annotations that way we can secure our methods okay so i hope that's clear and that's all for this video thank you